My name is Caroline Capuano, and I'm a junior at Davidson College. I spent this past summer participating in a virtual research experience through Davidson College. I worked with the data collected from an experiment conducted at the Lance WNR facility at Los Alamos National Laboratory using a neutron beam of energies ranging from 20 to 400 MeV. In this experiment, they use plastic scintillators to study the behavior of neutrons that are emitted from nuclear decay. These neutrons can scatter off of the atoms in the detector, making the detection of multiple neutrons challenging. The new diagonal configuration of the plastic scintillators shown in the diagram should improve the data set used for the benchmarking simulations of neutron interactions. I focused on finding the velocity, the energy, and the scattering angle between the first and second hits of the neutron in my data analysis. The results showed that the new configuration has helped with improving the data set collected and in future will help improve the accuracy for higher energy simulations. The new configuration of plastic scintillators also allowed for the data for scattering angles to be collected with better angular resolution. When looking at the multiplicity events, the results showed that the multiplicity events increased as the incoming neutron energy increased. For the velocity between the first and second hits of the neutron, we can observe that there are three bumps across the velocities that are consistent for the range of kinetic energies. Lastly, the new configuration of plastic scintillators allowed for the measurement of the energies of the scattered neutrons. For energies between the first and second hit of the neutron, we can see that the energy drops off at the specific energy cut applied to the data. For example, 50 MeV drops off at exactly 50 MeV. This is perfect because it's exactly what we would expect for the energy behavior. Future work will be to simulate this with different packages and compare the data. Thank you for the support by NSF Award and Davidson College's FS&R for making this program possible. I would also like to thank, thank the CEU program for its support and the many collaborate, collaborators who made this experiment possible.